What is up everyone, Jay here with another Fire Emblem Heroes video and today I'm going to be summoning on the Hall of Forms Revival Banner to try and plus 10 Young Sheeta. She is currently plus 7 right now and I'm going to be aiming for 2 copies because she's on the Hall of Forms. So I'll be getting the former for her for the last merge. So hopefully I get lucky here, I'll spark her if I need to and I would love to get Merrick as well because Merrick got a really really good refine. Um, way better than I would have expected so yeah. Um, that's the plan, plus 7 like I said. Here's her build right now. I also formed her last time she was available and just got copies over the years. So um, I'm excited for whatever she gets on her refine because there's a good amount of potential for it. But I also feel like they're going to be kind of tame on it because Feather Sword, you know, when she came out was an absolutely crazy weapon. Because at that point we had no weapon with that kind of effectiveness towards so many uh, weapon types. So I called her the Terror of Tallies and, you know, as you guys might know, that, that Arcanea Child Banner was such a good and fun time for me back in 2020. So I'm looking forward to the refines, and the refines so far have not uh, disappointed for the most part. You know, young Marth got a pretty good refine. I made a video talking about that. Young Merrick got arguably the best one. I would say he got the best one. Um, young Paula, or Trio Paula with her sisters, also got a pretty good refine. And young Sheeta is the only one remaining, so hopefully she gets something crazy good. Um, I don't expect it to be crazy good, but you know, um, at least something solid like young Marth got. But yeah. Um, here are the Hall of Forms builds I got for them. This is actually the first time probably ever that I've completed Hall of Forms within the first few days. Because usually I just do the three torches a day and then kind of cram at the end. But um, I wanted to go in and get the skills as fast as possible. And Merrick, I got everything I wanted except for Time Spulse 4, which kind of blows. Um, Pledge is the next best thing I, could, I guess I could have gotten. But Occult of Strike, Attack Speed Finish is really good. Desperation 4 is also good. Um... And then Young Sheeta got Distant Dart, which isn't the greatest, but um, I have a feeling her refine is going to be more enemy phase, so a Distant Dart, Distant Storm kind of build would work. Um, and then of course Guard Bearing 4 with the DR, I don't, I can never have enough of that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's kind of a toss up with whatever she gets in her refine, maybe she gets no follow up, maybe not. But yeah, it's definitely better than the last time I got her forma, and Guidance 4 is always, always good to have and then i also wanted to get chris stuff but i haven't because i've been just fishing for american cheetah so i don't know i don't even know if i'll fish for time souls 4 honestly maybe i'll just try to use the remaining torches for chris because chris will also get a refine sometime down the line but yeah um, that's pretty much the plan with my formas and trying to plus 10 young cheetah so let's go into this banner and try to get uh the two young cheetah i need and thankfully this banner has a spark because I completely forgot that these banners, you know, Hall of Forms Revivals got banners because, uh, you know, I think it's still relatively new and if this didn't happen then I would have to wait for the rerun in April which doesn't have a spark unless, you know, in a Fae channel or the anniversary they add that quality of life change to give older seasonal sparks because that really should be a thing for people who are trying to plus 10 old favorites. It's kind of a shame. So, you know, you know, this banner thankfully exists, so I can get the spark at least. So let's do the free summon. We get Urk here. Um, but yeah, as you can, as you did see, I have about 260 orbs, so a little bit over 250. Hopefully that's enough to get two of them. I'm going to be sniping reds, as you can see. Hopefully get some Lapis. I do get Sheeta here, but it's not the right one. Um, Lapis is super, super rare. I need three copies for her as well. Um, but I don't expect to get Lapis because the red pool is insanely bloated. But, um, you know, if there's no reds, I'll be pulling the greens as well. I don't even know if I should pull the green, honestly. Maybe I should, but to maximize my chances. Because I'm not trying to plus 10 Young Merrick right now. Um, as, you know, as good as he is, I think the he'll do me just fine with him at like plus 4 or whatever merges I have him at. I get a ton of can- Oh my goodness, there's Young Sheeta! Yes, within the first, like, 5 summons. Yes, my name is Sheeta. I come from Tallies. I have a fair share to learn, but I will put in the work. Yes, you will. That is amazing. I now I can just get her from the spark. Honestly, I can go for Merrick now, um, and just maybe snipe greens because I don't really need to go for the uh, another young Sheeta. Her fodder's not the greatest, um, so maybe I'll just go for greens now. Plans have changed. I didn't expect her to get her this soon. That's amazing. Because, um, you know, I can just get her from the spark, that's plus 9, and then the form will be plus 10. So, yeah, we get Arthur here. So that was a pleasant surprise. Very, very cool. Within the first 5 summons, I get one of them. Um, I could even go for Chris, honestly. Maybe I'll just snipe blues and greens, honestly. Um, yeah, I'll pull this green. But yeah, Young Merrick got a really, really good refine. Uh, he got pretty much everything you want for an offensive mage. He got an old guard, he got... Uh, low speed res 
he has no follow up he has minus one cooldown he has uh damage reduction piercing the only thing that really stops him i guess is you know uh, hardy bearing because uh if you run desperation four on him because that's the funny part is because the refine is so good and has so many effects that an offensive mage would want his b slot is like kind of hard to fill i guess so i'd say desperation four and occult strike are pretty much the options you go for on him because everything else like special power four or low speed res is in his refine pretty much so yeah that's a a blessing and dilemma at the same time i guess all right so we'll pull the screen here I guess I'll try the blues, why not? Because I can try and get Chris merge. Um, we get Basilio. I would really want female Chris to get an alt. She definitely deserves it. Because the male Chris surprisingly got it before her. And we still don't have a uh, female Chris alt. Okay, we get Oscar once again. And it's kind of risky for me to be summoning on this banner, honestly, because the beginning of Faye, the first few months, uh, there's like the Valentine's banner, which I'm hoping has May and Bowie on, and if it does, I'll have to be spending on that. But I keep telling myself they're going to be making a May alt, but they just don't like May for some reason. May still has nothing, and I know I say that a lot in my videos, but it's just, it's kind of like mind-boggling to me, in my opinion, that she has nothing after almost seven years or over seven years at this point. Because May's a fan favorite, you know, and it's just it's just a shame. Um, so hopefully she gets resplendent at least this year. So. All right, we'll pull this blue. We get female Corrin. So yeah, I'm not gonna be summoning on the res because I don't need to, I could just spark her. Um, or, you know what? Maybe I can go for reds again. You know what, maybe I should just be going on the reds, honestly, because if I do get another one, then I can just spark Merrick, you know? Maybe I should just go for the reds. But at the same time, Young Marth is also on this banner. So that's, I forgot Young Marth is on here. So I actually got really lucky getting Young Sheeta because I could have gotten Marth as well. Oh my goodness. Just as I was talking about her, she shows up. That's amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, I get another Sheeta and that's all I need. I don't even need to be summoning on the reds, honestly. Unless I want to try to get Lapis. But, I mean, yeah. That's it. That's pretty much it. I mean, I can end the video here, but should I? <laughs> should I or should I just save my orbs? I mean, I kind of want to just go to the spark to get Merrick because I don't need to go for Sheeta anymore. Within the first under 20 summons, I got the two young Sheeta I wanted. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to pull for the red. Maybe Lapis is in here or something, but I don't need to. Should save my orbs. Um, three three percent. Yeah, we're back to nothing. I'll I'll do a couple more. Maybe try to get a Merrick here. Okay, of course. No greens. What? <laughs> Fallen Lilith. Hey, I'll take her. She's got amazing fodder. Speed Smoke 4 is always good to have. And I think she has Dive Bomb as well. That's cool. Wow, this banner's been treating me pretty well. The Arcanea gods have looked upon me. They're like, you know, Arcanea is your favorite. We'll give you some luck here. That's great. <laughs> I feel like just keep going. Just keep going. Why not? Um, I'll pull this blue. Focus charge filled up, filled up by one right there because of Lilith. We get Lara Shell. Yeah, honestly, should I even continue and just like <laughs> stop? Or should I just go for the spark? I mean, yeah, I should because I want to get Merrick, honestly. Maybe in the next few years I can try to plus 10 him. I don't know. Um, I guess I should take advantage of the spark, you know, because like I said, the. If you go, if I wait till April, that banner's probably not going to have a spark on it. So, might as well make use of it here. Let's get American. Now we get Bowie. Okay. But yeah, Valentine's banner definitely has a lot of potential. Really hoping May and Bowie's on it. Or, I mean, there's a lot of good uh, Fire Emblem couples out there. But May and Bowie is one I really want to see. If not Valentine's, maybe for some other future season. Maybe summer. Maybe Halloween. Okay, yeah, I'll just keep going. I, honestly, I'll probably just keep going. Um, yeah, just keep going to the spark. We get Camilla. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, I just should definitely go to the spark. Why not? Actually, I should have pulled that blue, damn it. Because I also would like to get a Chris. Whoops. Okay, now we'll pull these blues. That's a, my bad. Wow, I get Mycin again. I just got him recently uh, as a pity break. Okay, I'll get 
<laughs> this banner's crazy, dude. Another, okay, so at least the focus charge is getting filled now. So that's good. Um, I get Merrick. Yay, base Merrick. <laughs> Mycin broke my pity rate. I mean, my rate wasn't very high. Barely anything, but um, yeah. Shadows of Valentia in the house with Tatiana. Okay, random Mycin. And now we're back 3% again, and the focus charge is almost filled. Three blues, that's amazing. Maybe I got a Chris here, we get Vanessa. Okay, all right, another random, okay, this is a four star special, Flo, not Flora, Fiora. Um, I've done her before. Share fodder is not that great. Fury in Pegasus Flight, which is very, very outdated at this point. Uh, we get Marcia, so we got Pegasus Flyers in the house. And then we'll pull this green. Alright, Gunter, okay. Yep, alright, back to 3.25. Haven't had a chance to go up very high because of all the crazy summons so far, but I'm not complaining. Very, very lucky summons. I'm glad I didn't get Young Marth because I already have him at plus 10, as you guys know. All right, Basilio. All right. Um, yep. Keep going. More than halfway to the Spark. Get Florina. We're getting a lot of the Flyers here. I Man, I can't believe I got two Young Sheeta that fast. That's crazy. <laughs> I expected to have to Spark her. But... Uh, Naka was giving me the good luck. Lady Luck was smiling upon me. Um, we get Colm here. Okay, we'll pull the screen. We get Sylvain. Alright, okay. I'll go and expand, or sorry, I'll go ahead and uh, clean my barracks a little bit. Alright, so we're back, and now we will be doing the remaining summons 11 more till the spark and uh spark merrick i suppose i could also spark chris but um i think merrick will be i mean chris could get a good really good refine but i feel like merrick's refine it's gonna be hard to top that and um i mean i okay <laughs> right when i was talking about her trying to find the next words to say she shows up that's amazing that's another chris merge because i've never really gotten lucky summoning for her i only really summoned for her on her uh, original banner uh, back in the day so yeah there is chris and i formed her and then i think i got her for like a arena ticket or a four star special maybe once or twice before um but that's pretty much it so i'll take another chris that's amazing she's plus speed i don't think i've had a plus speed copy wow really amazing summon so far on this arcanea banner they're really uh rewarding me for my dedication to this world and this continent um let's even get another one okay now we get florina Okay, and then we'll summon on this green here. But yeah, it really, it always feels good to get, you know, really lucky summons. When you don't get very good summons, you almost, you know, it feels like you want to quit the game. <laughs> Not that I would ever feel like that. I mean, I definitely felt felt very, you know, deflated after bad luck. But um, in my opinion, I don't think that should make you quit, you know, because RNG is RNG. That's always what Fireman's been, but... Yeah, um, I just gonna kind of suck if I do get the if I get a random five star, and then I get the focus charge and I don't really make use of it, because I don't really want to summon past the spark, but if the focus charge is filled, then maybe I could try to get another Merrick or something, or another Chris. Okay, we get Effie here. But yeah, the first few months of every year in Faye is always like a really chaotic and crazy time because we have so many things that are going to happen. Like I mentioned the Valentine's banner, we have a Hero Rises, which is going to be crazy chaos. You know, that's one of the most chaotic times in Faye for sure. We're going to have the anniversary um, events, a lot of tickets and stuff. We already had a lot of tickets for the New Year's. Uh, we're going to have the Hero Merit limit increase. We're going to get new refined stuff. Um, so first few months of Faye is always an exciting time, crazy time. All right. Wow. A full circle of greens and blues right exactly what i was looking for can we get america and other chris here that would be amazing right before the spark we do get smoke um okay we get race and i always get scared whenever i summon him because his big ass wings and his big ass silhouette um okay 
but yeah this this circle will pretty much get us to the spark and um we'll see what happens okay three star get okay, karen but yeah the next arcanade banner i hope has i mean there's a lot of potential for the next arcanade banner because there's a good amount there's still a good amount of uh Arcanea characters left to add. We have Cecil and Ryan, the remaining. Oh my goodness, dude. I can't even talk before another random 5-star shows up. To fill the focus charge, what I was just talking about, that I was kind of hoping not to happen, but it did. I'll take Zeke. You know, Zeke is peak. Um, <laughs> minus speed plus defense. That's pretty much optimal for him because he's not that fast. And his weapon does give him a guaranteed fall attack. Um... Yeah, focus charge is filled. Um, should I keep summoning? I, I might have to do it off screen, honestly. Um, what was I even talking about before that? Before Zeke showed up and interrupted me. <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, I completely forgot. Zeke just took the words out of my mouth. We get now we know we. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Jeez, I just can't remember. I'm like Robin waking up in the middle of the field. I can't remember what I'm talking what I was talking about. Can we get America on the last summon? No, we get Ross. Okay, that's fine. Wow, so the focus charge is filled. My rate isn't that high. It's only like 3.25, I think, or 350. Uh well right now it's 100 because I'm gonna be sparking Merrick. But uh yeah, we'll spark Merrick here. And wow, that was a very, very, very productive and fruitful summoning session. Went way better than I would have thought. Um yeah amazing so we'll spark merrick here that is i don't know what merge he's going to be at after the forma um i can't show you guys like the plus 10 young Sheeta right now because you know i'll have to wait till the forma or the hall of forms event ends but um yeah i can go quickly and uh round up the summons and show off everything i got okay so here are all the summons i got two young Sheeta early random fallen lilith mycin four star fiora female chris zeke and then spark numeric so very very awesome summons i'm really glad that uh, i got lucky here arcania god smiled upon me and um yeah i'm super stoked to merge them soon um unfortunately i can't plus 10 and show the plus 10 young Sheeta yet because i still have to wait obviously for hall of forms to end and that's not gonna happen until like six more days so i'm not gonna be showing it here but i will be making a post about it and on my socials if you guys follow me there um so she'll be plus 10 and then uh merrick will be plus four once i merge his sparked copy and the forma and then chris i'll be getting her to plus five if i do get her forma but um i don't know if i'll be i mean i probably will but the skills are not going to be the greatest probably because i don't have many torches left so that kind of sucks because i was fishing for time spells four for so long but i have the fodder to make her good if i if it need be but yeah um really awesome that i was able to get chris because i wasn't aiming for her until i got lucky with the Sheeta. so yeah i'm very content and uh i do remember what i was talking about before zeke rudely interrupted me <laughs> no i'm kidding um i was talking about the next arcanea banner because it's been over a year since the last one um, same thing happened with Thracia. Thracia didn't get anything in 2023, which was crazy. Because um, Arcanea didn't get a banner either, but at least we got seasonal versions with obviously my girl Kade and Lind, and we got Goto, Windtrap Catria. So yeah, um, the next Arcanea banner, because it's been over a year, the last one was uh, with Ascended Tiki, like in 2022, I think. Yeah, late 2022. So there's still a lot of characters remaining, good amount of them left. Um, so what I'd like to see is maybe Ryan and Cecil, because they're the only members of the seven platoon not in the game yet ryan being the bowl cut little brother of gordon who's adorable and then cecil who's really cool and she has a headband i've always had a soft spot for headbanded characters in rpgs so yeah i love to see her and plus she doesn't have much official art in at all in fire Emblem. like not much she doesn't even have a cypher card so whenever she gets art in Faye, hopefully it's really good um, I'd like to see Marisha because she is the funny healer that loves Marth and Sims after him. She'd be really funny in like a forging bonds, especially. Um, Wendell could be added base Zane because we still have no base Zane. We have two seasonal versions of him. Uh, we could also get Midia because it's kind of crazy she's not in the game yet. Uh, Astrum's still waiting for her. Could also get Arlen, the Merrick rival, the arrival of Merrick. Um, I could see him being on the banner, but also as a GHB, I think that'd make a lot of sense. Could even get Horus as a GHB um but i feel like he's just gonna be like a generic lance armor or something maybe you can get a prf but who knows um and then if they wanted to add like a rearmed hero or an attuned hero you know a tuned marth maybe you know what i'm saying wink wink <laughs> i just want to marth alt it's been a while um yeah they can even do etzel there's still like a lot of characters i haven't mentioned but 
I mean, the characters I did mention, they're not going to be on the banner, obviously. There's only going to be like three or four characters on it, but those are just some ideas that I'm throwing out there for the next one because I feel like it's going to happen within the next few months, which is not very good for me because I'm still saving up for like uh, Pleasion Katarina, who I also want a plus 10. I made a video talking about my crazy summons on that banner, or was it the Holoforms banner? Yeah, it was another Holoforms banner that I summoned for Pleasion Katarina. Um, she could also get like an attuned version, maybe even ascended version, but I feel like Minerva is going to be the next ascended version um for the next arcane banner but yeah lots of ideas for sure that arcane has and i'm glad that this arcane banner treated me well so that is the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um listening to ramble and the summons hopefully your summons were good on whatever banner you might have summoned on or if you're not summoning hopefully your orb saving is going well so yeah leave a like if you enjoyed please stay safe out there peace out